Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading and we're going to be looking at what is going on for you in love at this time, past, present, future energies for you in love and the energies between you and the person that you are connecting with or thinking about at this time. Take what resonates for you, what applies to you. For Gemini, spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Gemini regarding love? This is a reading that's going to be uh, for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection, Gemini, or you have someone in mind, okay? For Gemini, regarding their connection spirit, what messages can you give us? What is going on for Geminis in love? What's going on for Geminis? What messages do you have for Geminis? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. Bottom of the deck, I have past life relationship. You've known each other before. So someone that you know, clearly. Um, maybe this is a past life relationship or someone from your past. Um, let's see what else we can get. I'm using my new... Um, this is the Stellar Energy Oracle deck. It's a physical deck, so some of you are already familiar with my digital deck that you can download. It's this one, so this is the physical version. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put this for sale in my shop. Um, I'm debating. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to use it in the reading. So let's see, what other energies can you give us, Spirit, regarding the connection between Gemini and this other person? I'm really loving this deck. Um, it's a little different than the digital. Some images are the same, but a lot of them are different. So let's see what we get for Gemini. What other messages do you have for Gemini regarding their connection? Hidden motives, deception, secrets, avoidance. Someone is hiding their true motives. Hmm. What else? What else can you tell us about this connection? I'm getting like someone um, is just not being upfront. I'm just getting that. I don't really feel like it's straight up lies, but it's more like secrets, like a secret admirer. That's what I'm picking up. Anything else for Gemini? Love letter. Wow, a special message is on its way. Message, confession, response. So you could be sending someone a message or they could be sending you a message here. Bottom of the deck, we have divine timing. Fate, fortune, destiny. Trust in divine timing. Hmm. So spirit could be involved here. Uh, the right time, you know, maybe it hasn't been the right time for you all for you and this person. Um, interesting, so let's put these out here and then let's look at what the tarot has to say about your connection. And then we're gonna look at both of you individually, how you feel about each other, what are your energies. But first, let's see, for Gemini. What can you tell us for Gemini? If you're new here, I, do reversals in my channel. I completely have my whole deck is um, half reverse, half upright, typically. Um, sometimes I get comments telling me that my deck is completely upside down. It's not. <laughs> I shuffle them upside down, sideways. The whole deck is half reversals, half upright, or just a huge mix. It's whatever comes out, whatever spirit wants to come out. For Gemini, tell us about this connection that Gemini is in spirit. What does Gemini need to know? What's going on in this connection? What do we need to know? This is the Tarot Grand Lux. All of the decks that I'm using are going to be listed down below in the description box. Well, we got the Six of Cups starting off with the Six of Cups. <laughs> So this is definitely someone from your past or perhaps you have history with this person. Um, maybe this is a special connection. Um, 
could be something like a very sweet, innocent um, connection, a very pure connection. Um, this is also a card about someone returning home. So we'll see what else we get when we clarify. But Six of Cups is like a very soulmate type of card. The Devil Reverse came out with the Six of Wands Reverse. Interesting. I don't think this was a successful past relationship. Something must have happened between you because I don't think you are together right now. Five of Wands, conflict, competition, drama. So there's opposition here of some sort. This could be some sort of challenge in between you and this person or challenging this connection. King of Swords reverse. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor. Interesting. Aries energy with the Emperor. Um, and these two are completely different. That's why what I'm thinking here is that there is someone in your life who's probably a masculine energy, probably an emperor type of energy. Someone who is uh, maybe a natural leader or someone with authority or someone that has very, um, I don't know, typically they also tend to be parents. They're wise, um, older, mature. That's the emperor. Um, also very hard to read. The emperor is um, someone who is... Um, not really swayed by emotions, not really a very emotional person. They can be a bit cold. Um, when I have the emperor with something like the king of swords reverse, I don't think this emperor is exhibiting um, a very like a uh, king of swords reverse is like an evil person or very cruel person. Someone that doesn't care about your feelings, doesn't care how they hurt you. Um, I don't think that that's what this... I think what this emperor is doing is that they are not being honest with themselves or are not being honest with you. Um, I feel like this is someone who is blinded, which is very rare for the emperor. The emperor is really... Um, because of his experience, they tend to be very decisive people. Um, so I feel like there's something here that this emperor is either not aware of or does not want you to be aware of because I have hidden motives here with love letters. So it's like they haven't told you something, Gemini, or they haven't communicated something here. You could be dealing with someone with Aries um, in their chart. does not have to be. I, I'm just picking some something up about uh, communication that's just not been very open here and that's why make the effort is here as well because someone needs to make the effort here to communicate is what i'm picking up oops let's get some more information let me use a different deck here can you give me some more clarity for gemini oops well that was not a good shuffle let's try that again for gemini Me more spare for Gemini. Hmm. There's the Emperor again. Give me some more clarity for Gemini. The Emperor and the reverse with the Empress right next to him. You're not on the same page. You're, I, I feel like you're not with this person. Um, there's something that's not really, I don't know. I don't think you know something either. It's like you're both in the dark here. Tell me about this King of Swords reverse. And it's almost like someone's keeping something in the dark because there's drama or conflict here that could possibly take place or perhaps they're picturing drama or conflict if they do speak up. Why is this King of Swords reverse? Three of Pentacles. Can I get one more? Why is this King of Swords reverse? Page of Swords reverse. Yes, there's something that you don't know. And there's the Empress again. I feel like this is you. Like you don't know something, Gemini. Got the Strength card after that with the Two of Wands. 
It's like someone's trying to have the courage here to talk to you about something, but they haven't. They haven't told you something. There could be a third person involved here as well. I did see uh, the Nine of Pentacles reverse when I was shuffling earlier. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. What's this about? Okay. Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. The Star. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. So this is what I'm picking up. It's like this person wants to talk to you about working on something here. Healing a connection, working together. Um, perhaps you are a queen of swords at this time and there's just kind of like this barrier that you have um, where this person might not find it very easy to talk to you or might not read you very well. They want to bring an offer. There's the Three of Cups reverse. I'm telling you, th this person is taking their time to come to you, to, to talk to you about something solid. But I feel like with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups reverse here with the Four of Swords, it's like they haven't talked because of this interference. There could be a third person here or a, th or a situation where um, they can't build something quickly enough with you or, or it might take a lot of work. To, to make this work. <laughs> so, and I think it's because of something in the way. Let's see, let's see what else we can get here. Why is the five of wands here? I'm also picking up, it's like whatever hasn't been said, it's related to the past. Maybe you had an argument in the past or there was some conflict in the past here. Why is the five of wands here? Mm, why is the Five of Wands here, Spirit? Mm hmm Yep, okay. Okay. So I have here the Full Reverse and then the Two of Pentacles. This is someone that doesn't know if they should take the risk. It's very reckless. It's probably going to cause drama. They could be juggling a lot right now. Um, however, this is someone, you know, it's like the risk is walking away from something. Eight of Cups. It could be that you walked away from this person in the past, or it could be that this person has to walk away from something. But I feel like walking away from something is very risky for this person. It's a big decision. Um, and with the King of Wands, again with the fire, fiery energy, this is someone that's taking action. But the action, I feel, it's, it's almost like they don't want to walk away until they know something and they don't know something right now so that's why they're probably not that's why that four of swords is there this person is walking away towards happiness perhaps they've gotten clarity about what they truly want in their lives yeah yeah they probably missed an opportunity with you in the past or have missed opportunities in their life and i feel like this person just doesn't want that anymore tell me about the six of cups Tell me about the Six of Cups. Wow, Two of Cups, are you kidding me? Look at this. Six of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups. This is a very strong connection. Uh, soulmate, this is soulmate energy here. Two cards. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Uh, I feel like you both recognize each like it's like you recognize each other as your soulmate yeah ace of swords this is somebody that knows they know that you are their soulmate and, and or you know this person's your soulmate like you just know i feel like this person needs to speak up with the ace of swords there's a very important conversation that needs to take place here that hasn't taken place possibly because this person still hasn't left the situation they need to leave in yeah, they're stuck in a past situation right here or stuck on you. Um, I think there was a lot of heartbreak. Wherever they're at, it was probably not the best investment. I have the Seven of Pentacles here. So it's like they're wondering also if they were to return, if this would work. Um, maybe when, they, um, when there was a departure in the past, it didn't end very well. 
or there was maybe something that wasn't said or you know I feel like there's a lot of um, doubts that someone has here and that's why they haven't been upfront about how they truly feel it's like they don't know how you feel or they don't know how it's going to play out so they would rather just not do anything but I feel like that can it's like this person's having probably like internal conflict within their life and Gemini this could be you as well going through this where it's like you're trying to move on with your life you're trying to do life but there's internal conflict there's something that's still it's like there's an urge to speak I feel like the only thing holding this back is just someone not making a certain move here so let's see how you feel about each other I'm going to use my seller energy deck again tell me how the Gemini and this person feel about each other spirit please provide some clarity tell me about Gemini's energies in this connection what is Gemini's energies in this connection at this time oh we got unexpected event revelation upheaval endings unexpected or shocking events have shaken things up interesting gemini i feel like there's something oh yeah and look what's at the bottom of the deck we have secret admirer exactly what i'm saying it's like you don't know that this person has their eye on you you've caught someone's eye here i don't think this is expect like you're not expecting how this person feels maybe you will break the ice and speak up and that will cause a tower here tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with what are their energies at this time what are their energies at this time bountiful harvest growth abundance patience Plant seeds now, watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So I'm picking up that this person's thinking about long term, like will this work? And then bottom of the deck, I have mirrored souls. Another card for soulmate. Soulmate, mutual feelings, fate, you mirror each other in this special connection. Exactly. It's almost like, I don't know, I'm just picking up. It's like this person, once again, it's like they're wondering, like, does Gemini feel the same way? Um, am I imagining this? Can this grow? Can this manifest? Can something come out of this? Victory lap right after that. Will we have victory? Will we have success? Will my the seeds that I plant, will they go anywhere? That's what I'm getting here. That's Seven of Pentacles energy. Let's see. Tell me more about how Gemini and this other person are thinking or feeling about each other. Using the animal spirit deck here. How are they thinking or feeling about each other? Tell me about Gemini's energies. Well, that's way too many. Tell me about Gemini's energies regarding this person's spirit. Tell me more about Gemini's energies. Ah. Yeah, okay, so you have something to say too, Gemini. You are probably also thinking about what hasn't been spoken here, what hasn't been shared between you. You have something to say as well. Tell me about the person that Gemini is in a connection with. Tell me about their energies towards Gemini or this connection spirit. Okay, that's way too many but the octopus is here hmm I feel like this person's tangled up in a mess right now I'm not sure why or there's um a lot of moving parts this five of wands this could also be an internal battle this person is experiencing tell me more why is my deck being like this tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Gemini please spirit I got to keep getting a ton of cards. I'm just going to get them. I'm just going to take them. 
So we got the Swan, the Firefly, the Panther. This is a Tower card. Scorpion, yes, Bear. Okay, so a lot of cards here. This is um, a card about creativity and expression. So we got the Swan, creativity and expression. Then we have the Firefly, which is this is kind of a card about... Um, let me look at the book real quick, but it's almost like the, the firefly is a very bright light, but it kind of, um, it can extinguish quickly. So it's kind of like, make your move while you can. Inspired and fantastic yet fleeting, exactly. So it's pure, radiant, and illuminating, but the high frequency charge cannot be sustained for long. So it can quickly fade if you don't catch it. So it's almost like, you know, time is running out for this person. Um, there's like a spark happening right now within them, but it's like it's they need to act on this Then we have the panther card. This is a tower card here Scorpion this is like watch out <laughs> Scorpion could be um, aggressive. I'm thick. I'm picking up that five of wands for this scorpion card um, Passionate competitive uh, determined, um, some, sometimes there's their heat can fester and they focus on unresolved events from the past. Um, sometimes it's a situation where they are left feeling burned. It's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal. Yeah. I, again, th these are all connected. This is someone that, um, it's like they're worried that they're going to get stung, but I'm also getting like that they need to really, it's like a, it's like a, a light. Oh my God. The, the message I just got, it's like, something has lit their butt, you know, like, like something is like, you have to act now, right? And then the bear is all about a new beginning. So these are all kind of connected here. It's the same message we've gotten so far. So your person's feeling that like urge of, you know, making a move of doing something about what they're thinking or feeling right now. Let's get some more information here. Tell me about the energies between Gemini and this other person. Your person definitely wants a new beginning. They're picturing something new. Um, the bear is all about a new beginning, a new start. Please excuse my dogs in the background. Tell me about how this person is thinking or feeling about Gemini. Oh, that was a King of Cups. Interesting, but that's not the card that I saw. The Two of Swords is the card that I saw kind of flipping. Tell me more about how this person's thinking or feeling about Gemini. Again, remember when I was talking about like someone wearing a mask or like being blinded or that's what that card is reminding me of right now. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Gemini. The sun. Yeah, this this is someone that they have they are very clear about you, about what they want with you. They're just undecided about how to go about it. Tell me about Gemini. I'm getting this person is almost like there's like a light shining right into their soul. <laughs> and they cannot ignore this feeling. I'm telling you, there's like something going on. Perhaps spirit is guiding this, where this person is like they cannot ignore what's right in front of them. Um, they're also focused on their own happiness. I'm not sure why, but it's almost like they want something. They want to walk towards their happiness here. And it's 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 like they just know. It, they know how they feel. I just don't know if they've made a decision regarding that. Tell me about Gemini. How is Gemini thinking or feeling about this person? We have the Ten of Wands. I just heard, okay, the message I just got is that you've been waiting a long time and the eight of coin, I've, I've, I just picture you like waiting for this person a long time. I picture you kind of holding this person in, it's either you thought about this person this whole time, even while you're working or focus on other things. There's still like a lot that this, it's like this person weighs on you in some way. Perhaps you've been very busy trying to ignore, you know, how you feel about this person, try not to think about this person. Um, perhaps you're thinking that this relationship, if it were to take off again, it would take a lot of work uh, because, you know, there's a lot going on between you or in, you know, surrounding both of you. 